Hey, it's Janelle and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to be setting up next week in my Hobonichi Cousin, which will be the week of March 18th. I need to update some things in the current week. And I'm going to be setting up my daily to-do list and show you my mini happy planner. So let's get into this. Okay, so first I want to set up my daily to-do list so I can get my day situated so I know what's going on for today. So these are daily pages that I designed myself in Canva. If you don't know, Canva is an app where you can design pretty much anything and just made these, printed them out and punched them and put them in here. It's a completely free app, so it's really fun to just get in there and start designing things. So let me show you my weekly. Where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, here's the weekly spread for this week. This is just a little list of cleaning supplies that I wanna buy. I've been on um, cleaning TikTok and getting really good ideas on some things I struggle with getting clean. So there's just some products I wanna buy at the store. These are some things my boys need to do today, but this is what the weekly spread looks like this week. I am using the weekly as what's going on for the day that I need to be aware of on this top box and then just a to-do list going the rest of the way down. I haven't needed to bring it all the way down for the past few days, but if I needed to, I would bring that down. This is all that this weekly spread is for me. And then I have my dailies. Well, okay, let's go back here. I have this running to-do list that I've been kind of working off of. It's like, I don't know when exactly I'm gonna do these things. So I just have a running to-do list, but then I have my dailies. I haven't been using one of these every single day. And that's why I printed them without the date on them because I will just use these as I feel like I need them. Today, I feel like I kind of need to regroup get all of my to-dos like in order. I just want like a plan for today. So I just wanna make out my daily to-do list. It is spring break. I don't have to go anywhere today, thank the Lord. So nothing going on for today that I need to put in this box. It's really just a to-do list. Um, I want, well, I already went to Safeway and got stuff for dinner. Do I need to write that down? No, but I did because I wanna check it off. And I want to do my floors today. I've been needing to do my floors, like deep clean my floors. I also need to call, my dog needs to be groomed. I need to make that appointment. I wanna call my dermatologist. I wanna up the percentage on my tretinoin and see if they'll give me a new prescription with like a higher percentage. I do need to clean up my yards, but I am not gonna be able to do that today. Did I write? Th yeah, I wrote that down over here, so I don't need to rewrite that. And then I also want to pay bills. I got paid yesterday, and I need to do my meal plan and grocery list. All right, so that's everything I need to do for today. Good, I feel better about that. We're having pizza for dinner. I made homemade dough yesterday. So I needed to run to Safeway this morning and get pepperonis. And I needed a little bit more cheese because I didn't quite have enough. So we're gonna have a big pizza night tonight. I'm really excited about that. I'm situated for today. I have been loving using this mini. It is so fun. And I love that I've been able to make it work functionally for me. Last week I used the horizontal because I had some old pages that I just redated and then all of my pages for this mini are vertical. I do have to say, I like the horizontal better because I have more room to write out my to-dos rather than this like narrow box. As you can see, like I've had to kind of double up my writing and stuff. And I don't love that. I would rather be able to just write it out longer like this. So I might be using more horizontal pages and redating them because I just, I think I like that better, but I can definitely make this work just fine. So it'll pretty much just be how I feel for that week. So let's put this back over here. So I remember to buy these things. Yep. Okay. That is the weekly. I love this mini. It's been working so good for me and it's so fun. And that's what keeps me 
in it and using it is just having all of these fun things in here. I'm thinking I wanna switch out some of the decor in here to more like springtime vibes, especially mainly because I keep seeing this sticker in here, Cold Girl Winter, and it's like, it's not really winter anymore. Although it has been chilly some days. And I put my Arizona sticker that I showed in my last video. I put one of them in here. So that's where I used it. Yep, this is just so much fun. I love this little planner and I'm so glad that I found a functional way to use it because if I'm not using a planner functionally, I don't grab for it. And then what's the point if I'm not using it, you know? So I definitely wanted to find a way to use this functionally and I have been doing that. I love it. Okay, so let's move on to my cousin. First, let's update the current week. Last night for dinner, I had this beef and noodle bowl. I just put, up, put some really good flavored ground beef together with some noodles and some Alfredo sauce and it's fairly low calorie and it's really, really good. So I love that meal. I had it two nights in a row. Today, what do I want to read? I haven't, I don't know what I'm going to read today. I read Monstrilio yesterday, did not care for it, gave it two stars. And then I read Faux by Ian Reed. That was so good. And it's also a movie. So I think I want to try to watch the movie too. See how I like the movie. I don't know what I want to read today though. I have not worked out this morning and we're going to have pizza for dinner, but I'll wait on that. So really I didn't have anything to update. Nothing to put in for yesterday. So let's fill in this white space. I'll pull out my kit here and just use one of these boxes. Let's use this cute little fairy girl. Yep, that's it. That's all we gotta put in. Well, that was easy. So now let's go to next week and set up next week, March 18th. I have no idea how I wanna decorate it. I don't have any more kits, so that's not an option. Let's just find some cute decor and like make our own spread. Oh, I love these and I love these little bugs too. I also have these like flower beard guys. I don't know how I would put those into a spread though. These would be really cute for spring. And I feel like I can do something kind of creative with those, but I'm not quite sure what. So I think I have decided that I wanna use these bug stickers to make a spread. They're just really weird and different. And I love weird and different. So let's just use these. I have had these for a long time and have never used them. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. I grabbed out these washies because we've got some yellows and browns and oranges. So let's see what we can come up with. If you watch my channel, you know I like to create three boxes at the bottom to track my reading, workouts, and dinners every single week. So that is always the first thing that I do within my spread. I think what I want to do is use one of these washies to like create the line, and then I'll put the bugs along the bottom. So first, let's put the bugs along the bottom. That way I kind of know how high up to do the top line. So let's just do that first, I guess. This is gonna be really weird. I'm not sure how this is gonna work out because they're all different sizes, but that's kind of the fun thing about planning and being creative is, you know, using a kit is like very uniform. Everything has its place and you just throw it down, which that is nice on those weeks when you don't really wanna to have to think about things. But sometimes it's fun to just 
see what happens. <laughs> so that's what we're doing this week. I want to vary the sizes all along here. So let's just see how that works out. And we'll vary like the different kinds of bugs as well. our bugs this one was a little crooked I tried to pull him up to reposition him and it ripped the paper so I had to leave him how it was this guy has a really long antenna which goes up into my area but that should be okay now let's put this washi down I kind of feel like maybe I should just use this like I don't know what color this is. It's like a taupe or a tan. It's not really tan. I think it's more of like a taupe. And that probably goes more with everything. More neutral. I'm just putting this washi down at the 20 time mark here. And now what color do we want to use to shade in our boxes? I could do like a tan or a cream color. I don't really want to do red. That's too harsh. Yellow doesn't really seem to go. I think it's probably a safer bet to go with the cream colors. All right, let's shade. Dry it off a little bit. There's my bottom boxes shaded. Let's add one of these bigger bugs onto the sidebar. We'll do this big ladybug over here. I don't typically use the sidebar, so we can decorate that up. I typically have some white space to fill in every single week also, so I will save these to fill in all the white space when I need to. Okay, so let's put down my icons over here for my reading, workout, and dinners. Okay, first is reading, workout, dinners. Love that. Next, let's put in my trash because I saw these stickers and might as well put them in now. We'll use these teeny little ones because why not? Change it up a little bit. And I've been putting them up here. This is usually where I put my weather. But I've been putting them up here just as a quick little reminder and that's been working out pretty perfectly. Okay, let's flip to the monthly and see what we have going on for next week. Next week is back to school, art club, baseball, silly day, hair and socks, and then a baseball game. Pretty simple, not too much. Let's put in baseball because I have these going right now. Let's do, let's just put in practice. I don't know the exact time. It kind of changes from week to week. So I'll write that in once I know. We can use a red one since we've got some red ladybugs and stuff for the game. The game is at 11 o'clock. Now we gotta put in art club. So let's look for a label sticker. I could always use black. Here's some more label stickers back here. None of these really go with the bug theme or with the colors. This is a weird color scheme that I've got going on this week. <laughs> so let's just use the black one. That goes with bugs. And let's just write in art club. And the only other thing we gotta put in is our silly day. I'll just write that up at the top. And this is only for my younger son's school. Let's use this darker brown. Well, that's all I have going on for the week. Next, let me put in like the little things that I like to do. On Thursdays, I like to do my planning for the upcoming week. Let's just use like this gray little doodly planner. Okay. 
And I like to just write in meal plan and plan next week. So meal planning and then making up my grocery list for the weekend whenever I have time to go to the store or do my order and then plan for the next week, which is what I'm doing right now, which is so fun. I love it. I love it. I honestly love it. Okay. So I got my planning in as a reminder. Wow. That is really all that I need to put in as far as I know. Yeah. So that is it for this weekly plan with me. I fill in things every single day. I go back and fill in white space and stuff. So this is what it looks like at the very beginning of the week before I get started. And I go in and add things every single day to fill it in. So stay tuned for my next videos as I fill these pages in. But that was a pretty simple plan with me for today. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!